Good afternoon, everybody. We are picking it back up in Mark. We left off in chapter 15, um, Christ being crucified. And uh, we ended with verse 34. It says at the ninth hour, which is 3 p.m., Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lama shabbatane, which is being interpreted, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Um, many people misinterpret what's going on there. Jesus is actually teaching that is verbatim, word for word, the beginning of Psalms 22, which um, foretold all of this happening. So about a thousand years before it happened, nobody but God could do that. We'll pick it up there. Lord, we ask you for wisdom and understanding today as we go to your word. Please open eyes, open ears. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Verse 35. And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he calleth Elias or Elijah. And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, let alone, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost and died. And the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in that. I, I'm going to try to make it quick. Um, in the Old Testament, the pre, only the high priest could only go in certain times to the Holy of Holies where God was. Um, and they were the only ones that could approach him. But he ripped that veil through him, making available to everyone, all who believed in Christ, access to God himself. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Verse 40, there were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, the less and of Joseph and Salome, who also, when he was in Galilee, followed him and ministered unto him, and many other women which came up with him into Jerusalem. And now, when the evening was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, before Passover, Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of God, as a, he was a believer, he was also um, uh, Jesus' uncle, came and went in boldly unto Pilate, and craved the body of Jesus, which he had a right to as kinsman redeemer. Again, they were related. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. I think he thought that that wouldn't happen. And calling unto him the centurion or the guard, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. And he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a sepulcher, which was hewn out of a rock that Joseph of Arimathea owned. We know that from another gospel and rolled a stone unto the door of the sepulcher and Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, beheld where he was laid. And I'm going to leave it there. We're going to end a little early today because there's just one more chapter left. Um, and we'll cover that tomorrow. You all know how, how that ends with glory. I love you all. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Love and blessings. We'll pick it up there tomorrow.